and I, guys. It is a gray, gloomy, rainy yuck. Almost feeling like a winter day, finally, here in the winter of 2023. It is a gloomy Thursday morning. Where are we? Good Lord, December 28th, 2023, as we wind down and I am bouncing off the walls here. So, uh, before I launch into my long-winded rant about the handbook for the new paradigm, I just, I just want to spend a couple of minutes uh, talking about all, all of the women that I, that I love in my life. Uh, you know, it's still, I don't understand why there are some people who literally believe that I am some sort of misogynist or incel or something. Can't imagine why people would, would think that. But I've got to say, guys, uh, after the past couple of days, uh, just in, enjoying my wacky female friends, and, and, and I have had two more show up in my life. Uh, <laughs> good Lord, that girl on the dock yesterday, if, if you heard that, that voice of that young lady, can I come sit next to you? <laughs> oh, why didn't I keep the, uh, <laughs> the microphone running? But uh, I, I just have to say, in the 24 hours between, what was last night, Wednesday, between Tuesday evening and last evening, it's just dealing with all of my crazy, non-normy female friends, even, uh, even my non-female female friend, uh, Gloria Nanati who it's finally been uh, determined that Gloria is a, uh, a tranny. So uh, even my female friends with dicks, uh, you, you know, I got to say, what, what a crew, what, what a harem I have, uh, <laughs> I, I, I have attracted into my life. I ended up calling uh, my crazy friend who uh, I love dearly, who, who you guys know, Ariel, you, you know, the the astrologer of doom, doomer chick up there in Atlanta. You know, I called Ariel last night after dealing with all of these various crazy doomer chicks and doomer trannies and, and whatnot, and, and I said, darling, when I pick up the phone to call you, to, uh, to, to talk to a female who is, uh, well, not normal, but not just absolute nut job. Uh, <laughs> you, you know that the world has gone crazy when, when I call Ariel to uh, talk to a, a, a semi-normal woman, but uh, good Lord, nothing that bores me more than a normie woman. Yes, little dog, do you feel like you need to be, I don't know if I want you, this is the new couch that I got from the villages yesterday. I'm not sure I want this dirty little dog on my new couch. And you say, Pop, well, you're doing a video and you're leaving me out. But anyway, speaking of women that I love, in the middle of all this, my sister, who is certainly a, 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 a woman I love, sent me a link to my niece's website where my niece has posted this photo of my mama, Elaine Mitchell, and uh, what Lee, what my niece did is she found this photo that the little girl in the, in the lower right hand corner is a picture of my niece when she was probably about six, 
So, uh, I guess this picture of my mother probably taken sometime around 1980. Uh, there is the, uh, <laughs> the strong southern woman who raised me. So I'm thinking that mom in this picture is probably about the age I am now. And uh, Lee, apparently, I don't know exactly what this is. She found something that my mother wrote, I think uh, probably maybe when I was a baby in the early 1960s. I really wish there was a date on this. And this is uh, my mother, uh, at least the first page of her brief family history. So I'm going to read this uh, passage from Elaine Mitchell, and so I'm sure all of you folks are going to freak out about the word Negro. And remember, this was written in the early 1960s uh, in the Deep South. Uh, so just deal with it. I'm sure people will... Uh, call my mother a racist because she was uh, used the word Negro in the Deep South in the early 1960s. But take it away, Elaine Mitchell. <clears throat> my mother, meaning my grandmother, my mother from East Tennessee and with her parents from Pennsylvania, was passive, permissive, and kind. She was intellectual and spent much of her time reading, though her care for us was, for us never wavered. She was physically, she was not physically demonstrative. And I, and I have to say, my mother was not particularly physically demonstrative, as, which she probably picked up from her mother. Um, she was n not physically demonstrative. The most <clears throat> warmth we four children received, particularly my younger brother and I, came to us <clears throat> in the kitchen from our beloved Negro cook, who was with us most of the day. Her husband was also a warm and caring man and visited us daily as he delivered both mail and ice. She, uh, since my mother's breast had been surgically amputated. I never knew until yesterday that my grandmother had a double mastectomy. I guess she had breast cancer. Never knew that and, until yesterday. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> since uh, my mother's where was this? Is very very difficult to read, as you can tell. Since my mother's breast had been surgically amputated and milk was not safe in those days, I had been nursed by a Negro woman. Therefore, the greatest warmth. I had received during my impressionable preschool years came from members of the Negro race. Uh, so, you know, my, my mother used to laugh uh, whenever, you know, some clueless fucking moron Yankee uh, made some comment about her being racist or her her retort was always, 
I was nursed by a black wet nurse. What the fuck more do you want? <laughs> so, so anyway, but you know, and, and everything she says here was pretty true of my childhood, uh, as I mentioned in in my own soft white underbelly uh, interview with Mark at the very beginning that I was raised by strong Southern black women. Uh, I was not, I did not have a black wet nurse. Uh, I was uh, a bottle baby. Uh, I, my mother had had enough of nursing by the time I came along. Uh, but it's interesting. I was the last generation of Southern white liberals uh, to being raised by strong Southern black women. Uh, the, the old joke, uh, how do you wean a Southern white liberal? You fire the maid. That was, that, <laughs> my mother loved that joke. Uh, being, you know, being a dyed in the wool Southern white liberal. Uh, my mama was a serious lefty, but she was not a limp dick. Anyway, moving on back to my mother's brief family history. <clears throat> Warmth and affection had also been given to me by my, my, by my paternal grandfather, and I had sometimes run to him for protection when I had done wrong. Just before I entered first grade, we moved to South Florida. Uh, that was Fort Myers. Her father, who had been uh, the mayor of this little town called Eatonton, Georgia, where uh, Alice Walker from the Color Purple grew up, um, he had been the mayor of Eatonton, and so my mother was the daughter of the mayor, and he was signed, he was hired to be the district attorney of Lee County, Florida, you know, which is uh, Fort Myers. So she moved to Fort Myers right before she entered first grade. <clears throat> Just before I entered first grade, we moved to South Florida. <clears throat> then suddenly... Oh, thus suddenly severing my connections with those I loved most. So far as I know, I expressed none of my feelings of sadness and separation feelings were not dealt with. In Florida, I became passionately attached to the ocean. The sea seemed to to answer all my needs that human relationships could not serve. I grew up in the free culture of South Florida where the view was broad and the restrictions, the restrictive traditions of an old Georgia small town were absent. We went native, stockingless, and it was not, and did not seem to matter to others whether or not we went to church. <laughs> so there you go. Those are the wise words from my decidedly non-normy, strong Southern woman, and. Uh, I have continued to be uh, attracted to to strong non-normy women, Southern or not. Uh, but anyway, Elaine Mitchell, R.I.P. And uh, thank you for instilling in your in your youngest son a great appreciation for absurdity and uh, 
dark, ironic wit. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, I'm going to head over to a book which would have absolutely horrified my mother, The Handbook for the New Paradigm, coming up in another video for another non-normy woman that I love. Get out there and enjoy all the strong non-normy women in your own life while you still can. My guys.